I want you, bam. Who? Took us long enough, we finally got it started. Got her. Good one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. That's the bite we need. Max ain't hit worm down her throat. Give me some. Mmm. Bam. Keeper number three in the box. Yes, sir. Ooh, it's better than I thought, dude. Bam. Whew. One more of those bites we needed. That's a coal. Yes, sir. Came off in the net. Oh my gosh, dude. That's a coal right there. Oh, that's what we got all the way soaked across the lake for. Goodness gracious. This place is rolling. Drew Gill, this guy will be fishing tomorrow for sure. He had 19.12 yesterday, top 10. Today, he's got 14 pounds and 12 ounces, but with a total of 34 pounds and eight ounces for Drew Gill. Third place right there. Uh, didn't go out and do what I needed to do today to follow up what I had yesterday. All my stuff got blown up by the wind today, so I just kind of went and fished free. I'm excited for the wind shift in the morning and hopefully I can uh, capitalize on some bites that I didn't get to fish for today. Got her. Dude, this is her. It's a giant. <sighs> Bam! That's how we start day three. Let's go. Whew. That is how we start day three. Oh, thank you, Lord. That's a bite right there. Goodness gracious. Oh. Saw two carp swimming around. And there was another carp that came in screen, and it wasn't a carp. Whew. How about that? That's a great way to start the day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four or five, baby, let's go. Let's go. We're gonna try the non-good luck approach because after I cold tagged that four pounder yesterday, I didn't catch any more of them. So we're gonna reverse that theory. Give me some. Oh, let's go. That's how we start day three. Gosh dang. Oh, let's go, baby. Another good one. Ha. Ah, knew if I could fish this stretch today, I might be able to catch some good ones. And it's going down. It's going down. Woo! Gosh. Gosh. 
Oh, those are the kinds we need. Three more bites like that. We might make Ron at least sweat a little. I mean, goodness, the guy has to break a sweat at some point this season. Three, five. If we're gonna want a chance at winning this thing, though, this one's gonna have to have a cold tag. Uh. Number two, okay. Uh, three, five. It works. Hey, give me some. Yes. Number three. Bingo. Not one we want, but one we will take until we got five of them. Problem is this bumps our average up to like, we gotta catch two six pounders now. Whatever, 115. Number three. We're working, we're working. Got all my cold tags over here. Number three. Put him over here. We're gonna let him mingle with the big ones. Let's get two more. Get up here, buddy. Oh. She doesn't want up here. Okay, noted. Yes, sir. Oh, we have been working hard today out here on Eufaula, but we finally stuck us a show enough big. And it's been a few hours since I've caught one worth catching. And this is one worth catching. Oh, goodness gracious. Had a flip-flop blow up earlier, so now I'm fishing barefoot. Starting to think it was, you know, bad luck. Well, this is the kind we need, so maybe the no flip-flop thing is it's a good thing. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I'm happy to have one like that. Whew, 410. That's what I'm talking about. Bam! Bam! God. Oh. Don't need to cold tag her. Let's get us one more like that. One more like that. Come on. Whew. Shaking, man. Work all day on a place like this for bites like that. Gosh, it was a long time coming today. But we got us five bass. Whew. We got us five. We're gonna have to start culling now. Got an hour to do it. Let's get it done. Came back to this stretch, caught one here this morning, found a couple here in practice, but man, I didn't feel like I had much left the tank, decided to come to this stretch and just fish around it, even though this doesn't set up right. I wanted to fish around it and maybe see if there were some outlier fish, and there are, which is a great sign. Oh yeah, easy, easy. It's a good sign. I'm gonna probably, since out of the wind, it has some big fish, I'm probably gonna beat this stretch up a little bit. 
next but over an hour and try and catch a couple more of those four tens. Mm, we finally got five. It was a it was a chore today. It was a chore in a way that it has not been a chore all week. That's a helper. Yeah, I don't want a net stab. Got her. Whoo. Yeah. 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 That, that'll do right there. That'll do. I knew she was a good one when I stuck her, but I didn't think she was that good. Whoo! That is what I'm talking about. Okay, number five goes. 1814. 410. It's a good one. Fins are bloody. She's wanting to spawn, but she hasn't yet. Ooh. Man. That, uh, that's some good stuff right there. That is some good stuff. Adios, friend. Give me some, John. Let's see if we can't make some magic happen. Oh, that's a coal. That was an excellent decision. That is a good coal. That one will coal probably close to a pound. There we go. I don't know that it'll be quite that. It'll be three quarters of a pound. Yeah, three quarters. Okay, number three goes. That was a good decision. Three's green, I think. Yep. Oh, gosh dang it. Now I gotta go fishing for him again. That's a cool. Okay. Two over here. And I got one, two, three over here. third last fall at the Toyota Series Championship at Lake Gunnersville. He finished 11th the College Fishing National Championship just a few months ago. A great young angler and a great guy on the mic. 19 pounds, 12 ounces on day one. 14-12 on day two. Had him in fifth place from Mount Carmel, Illinois. Let's hear it for Drew Gill. All right, here we go, Drew. 
to take the lead from Scotty Belines, the new king of the hill. We kind of got the Illinois versus Arkansas thing going on right now. Illinois versus Arkansas. You're going <laughs> to... Scotty. Oh, Arkansas didn't have hockey is what his exact words were. All right, hey, listen, it's going to be a pretty tall mountain to climb, Drew, to take the lead from Scotty Blinds. You're going to need 15 pounds, 13 ounces. A five best limit. Biggest bag of the day. 19 pounds, 13 ounces. Wow! Let's see your two best bass. Drew Gill is your new leader. Wow. Make it television. On Championship Sunday. All right, Drew, there's your towel right there, man. Before you and Scotty shake hands and you take over the hot seat, let's go to the front and talk about it. This is my good side over here, so I'm going to stay on this side. That's what my wife tells me. No, I'm kidding. But, dude, on a serious note, man, you smashed them on Championship Sunday. And by the way, how old is Drew Gill? I'm 20, Chris. 20 years old. Just finished 11th at the College Fishing National Championship. Third in the Toyota Series Championship last fall at Lake Gunnersville. This is your third event in the Tackle Warehouse Invitational and in contention for a win. You've got a great future in this sport, Drew. I appreciate it, Chris. Um, i got to give a big shout-out to Morgan's Towing. I locked my key in the ignition this morning with the truck running, and I was about to make some dire mistakes, and they bailed me out. So uh, I was really fortunate to have even gone fishing today. <laughs> so I'd also like to thank my family, my friends, my sisters, everyone that supports me. I'd like to thank my girlfriend especially. Um, I'd like to thank Revelation Machinery. They gave me my start last year getting to fish the Toyota Series, and they're one of my you know, biggest supporters. I'd like to thank Hook for keeping me dry on the run back yesterday. It was, it was bumpy. And I'd also like to thank uh, Triton, Dio and Arc, and I'd also like to thank Precision Sonar because without their brackets, my graphs would be gone right now. <laughs> Breaking it down, man. Um, I said this before, but uh, last year at the – I think it was the uh, the Toyota Series Championship, but hey, listen, you're you're really good. I mean, just very talented, very versatile. Um, already, you're young in the sport, but already well accomplished. Really good on the mic. You've got a great future in this sport, Drew. You make good television for us, but don't look in the rearview mirror right now, because you've got five guys that have been on them, and uh, yeah, Kelly's right behind you. You got Ron back there. This is not going to be easy. But we're making good television. Do you have uh, any final words for a great crowd? Anybody watching you anywhere in the Major League Fishing universe, we're live. I really appreciate everyone coming out and everyone watching on live this week. It's been a blast. This has been one of the most fun weeks fishing in my life. And I'm really appreciative of the way everything went. Every fish that I hooked that I needed to put in the boat, I put in the boat. And uh, I couldn't be more blessed to be here. I'd like, also like to thank my Lord and Savior for, uh, for you know, allowing me to do this. Very special. He's your new leader, Drew Gill. Drew, thank you. There's your weight ticket. Frame it. Shake hands with Scotty Valines. I tell you what, Drew, I want to bring you. Drew, yeah, hold on one second, Kelly, because I want both these guys on stage for this moment. We've got five guys left. Our next angler, I'm going to go ahead and give you, um, give you his rundown. He is a founder of Major League Fishing, an icon, a legend in this sport, one of the guys that has built this great game into what it is today. He's a, a bass fishing millionaire, 16-11 on day one, 17-15 on day two. And if you watched him on live today, you know he wrecked him. Let's hear it for Flint, Texas pro Kelly Jordan. So this is neat right here, man, because this is um, present versus future, and this um, this is going to be um, this, we're going to make some good television right here. This could be our crowning moment. We'll see how it plays out with the four pros left. But Kelly Jordan, sixteen eleven on day one, seventeen fifteen on day two, to dethrone Drew Gill. You need nineteen pounds and eleven ounces. You and I have done this before. Here we go. Watch it with me right here. Looking for 1911. Biggest bag 
of the event. 22 pounds and nine ounces. Wow! Let's see your two best bass. Kelly Jordan catches over 22 on Championship Sunday. Wow! <laughs> Kelly Jordan gets it done with the biggest bag of the event on Championship Sunday, 22 pounds. He is qualified for Red Crest 2024. And the third and final thing, the money spends, the hardware lasts forever. Kelly Jordan is your champion. Even though I ended up coming up a little bit short to Kelly, another congratulations to him on the win. Uh, coming and second at a pro level event's pretty cool. So uh, this is this is my first big break of fishing the Invitationals. Um, great event. Caught a lot of a lot of very quality fish. Didn't just have a catch fest on my hands, but uh, had a fun week for sure. Um, you know, day one caught him really well. Day two. Was, was pretty tough. Would have liked to have had a couple hours back that I that I wasted trying to force a bite on the main lake that I couldn't do in the wind. And uh, day three ended up ended up catching them again, but it, it wasn't pretty either. It was it was a lot of work. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Next one that comes out is stop three or stop two of the uh, Toyota series Plains Division at Kentucky Lake. So this is one that I've been looking forward to for a while. A uh, place with a lot of sentimental value to me. So, uh, hope you guys look forward to watching. Thank you for watching this one. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.